This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to change the size and color of the cursor in ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a simple polysphere loaded in. And the question is asking about the cursor. So you can see the cursor on the model here, which consists of these two circles. And the question is asking if there is any way to change the size or color of this. So the size of the cursor, when you have a brush selected, is going to be determined by the draw size. So if you have a small draw size, you're going to get a cursor that's sized like this. But if you increase the draw size, you're going to get a larger cursor. Now this cursor is going to correlate to the size of the brush. So if you have a small cursor here and you're using the standard brush, you're gonna get a small stroke. And if you have a large draw size or a large cursor, you're going to get a large stroke. So the size options for the cursor are always going to be relative to the size of the brush. So changing your draw size is going to be the only way to increase or decrease the cursor size when you have a brush selected. Now for the color options, if you navigate to the preferences palette here and open this up, I'm just gonna click this button here to dock it to the side. If we come over here in the preferences area and then go to the edit area, in here at the top, you have a whole bunch of different colors. And these are going to correlate to the color of the cursor. So the default cursor here, you can see contains that color. We got the shift color. So if you hold down shift, you'll see that that is the color it's going to change to when a smoothing brush is selected. You have the control cursor, which is the color it's going to switch to if you have control held down. Then also you have the control shift. So if you hold down control and shift, you have the sculptress mode. So if you switch to sculptress, you're gonna get a different color. And then you also have the smoothing option or the shift function for Sculptress. So if Sculptress is enabled and you hold down shift, you'll get that color as well. So these color options here can all be changed. So if I want my default cursor to be a different color, I come over here and click and drag, and this will allow me to color pick anywhere on the canvas here. So I come down and maybe select black. And now you'll see that the cursor color is now being displayed in black. So you can change any of these colors over here. Now after you have these changed, you wanna make sure you store this. So you can go to the config area and then click store config and those colors will be remembered. Now, if you are not in a brush, but maybe let's say you're in the move mode here and you have the Gizmo 3D, this cursor also has some options you can change. So if we go back to our preferences area and then go down to the Gizmo 3D, we can open this up. And in here, we have the option to change the gizmo size. So we can increase this or decrease this. So if you find that the gizmo 3D is too big when you're using it, you can scale it up or down in here. And this will also store if you go to the config area and click store config. And then if we get out of the gizmo 3D, this will give us our transpose line cursor. Now the transpose line also has a set of properties. So if we go back to preferences, then go down to the transpose area. In here, you have the ability to adjust the circle radius and also the axis length. So you can customize how the transpose line will look as well inside of ZBrush. So to recap, the options for changing how the cursors appear are in the preferences menu at the top here. And then if you go to the edit area, you'll have the options to change the cursor for when you have a brush selected. If you go to the transpose area, you'll get the options to change how the transpose line will be viewed. And then if you go to the Gizmo 3D, you'll get the options for the Gizmo 3D. Now, after you've changed any of those settings, you wanna make sure that you go to the preferences config area and click store config to lock those in. So the next time you launch ZBrush, those options will be remembered. So if you have any other questions about ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.